The Skuafoss waterfall in Iceland is a scene of natural beauty. A two-hour drive southeast from the city of Reykjavik, the 200-foot waterfall is visited by hundreds of tourists every day. Surrounded by water and scattered with hot spa pools, Iceland is well known for its geothermal activity. Most of the nation's swimming pools are thermally heated, and it's no wonder that the sport of swimming has produced some of the nation's sporting successes. Rattenhilde Luthadottir is one of Iceland's most decorated sports stars. Hilda, as she's known, was born in Iceland, but her family moved to the United States when she was a baby. As one of the world's finest breaststroke swimmers, the 26-year-old always had an affinity with the water. I was always in or out of water at some point when I was younger. Um, I would just throw myself into a pool even without knowing how to swim and even throwing myself into those big fountains, just like in the parks, just because like it was water. And so my mom had to fish me out with like all my clothes wet. So I was always interested in the water and, and always trying to be in there, but I didn't start training until actually when we moved back to Iceland, so when I was like 9, 10. So kind of late compared to maybe other swimmers. Starting out as a medley swimmer, a broken collarbone following a skiing accident saw her focus more on the breaststroke. Perfecting her craft back in her native Iceland, Hilda narrowly missed out on making the team for the Beijing Olympics in 2008. Hoping to avoid the same fate in 2012, Hilda secured a scholarship to the University of Florida and returned to America. An Olympic debut at London in 2012 soon followed. However, Hilda set her sights on 2016 as her best hope of Olympic success. But first, a return to the London Aquatic Centre for the 2016 European Championships. Going into it, I was kind of relaxed and just happy and and then one day I did I forgot my um, lucky shoes and so it was like one thing after another and I was like oh my god this is just not gonna go right for me but then I won my first silver medal and I was like okay maybe I this is working out maybe I can actually do something and then but then I had this added pressure on myself because I was like well I need to show now like this was not a coincidence like this I this meant to happen and I'm actually this good so I need to do well in the other events and Luckily, it worked out and it was a lot of fun. In winning two silvers and a bronze, Hilda became the first Icelandic medalist at the European Long Course Swimming Championships in the 90-year history of the event. It was the perfect preparation for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. Hilda finished in sixth place and was given the honor of carrying the Icelandic national flag at the Olympic closing ceremony. Following on from the Games, Hilda decided it was time to move back to Iceland. Her boyfriend, Aaron, also a swimmer, saw firsthand the admiration Hilda received from the Icelandic people following her most successful year in the pool. She was uh, nominated for uh, Athlete of the Year, uh, came in second, but uh, still it's a very great achievement. In social media, you could you know, see that people really started to recognize her and also like her, you know, even though they didn't know her. And, you know, just to recognize her achievement, you know, because it's swimming, you know, it's a, a different sport than football or handball, you know. So it's, it was great to see all that uh, talk about swimming. Also, she brought that in. When Transworld Sport was in her hometown of Hapnafjörður, just outside the capital Reykjavik, Hilda was competing in a national competition. In the 25-metre pool, she was preparing for the European Short Course Championships in Denmark, concluding what has been a very different year for the 26-year-old. The year is a lot of change. So she came home to Iceland to continue her education. So the professional swimming is over. There is no funding here for professional swimmers. Um, not at all. You get your costs paid. So she does not have any money for her sport, so she has to earn her money. So she had to go back to the amateur status. 
Despite the financial restrictions, 2017 has been another solid year in the pool. Hilda won an impressive seven gold medals at the Games of the Small States of Europe, a multi-sport event for nine of Europe's smallest nations. Those medals made her the most decorated female in the history of the Small States Games. She backed that up with a top ten finish at the World Championships in Budapest. But the biggest change for Hilda in 2017 has been her first steps into coaching. Every week she gives back to the sport that gave her so much by developing the next generation of Icelandic swimmers. So I just started coaching younger kids and um, it's very rewarding. Um, you definitely see swimming from a different aspect that way and you, you notice even just things that you might be doing wrong just by watching them and trying to teach them and, and you start thinking about swimming in a different way. It's really fun interacting with them even if they are quite difficult sometimes because they don't listen or, or they're just active kids, you know, just like kids are. I think, you know, every kid in Iceland recognizes their, you know, little, little kids who are just starting out swimming. So she's a really good role model for them. She's always really nice and you, you never see her with a frown on her face, you know, when she's in around the pool, you know. So in that way, she's a, an amazing person. Outside the pool, both Hilda and Aaron are seemingly forever buried under textbooks and exam revision. Aaron is training to be a policeman, whilst Hilda is following in her father's footsteps with the hopes of becoming a doctor. I'm currently studying biomechanics at the university here in Iceland, and I'm planning on applying to med school after that, so next summer, basically. I'm. Yeah, I think I'm slowly moving my way into my career and what I, I'm going to do with the rest of my life um, because obviously swimming can't be part of my life, sadly can't be a part of my life for forever. And I think that's very interesting and very um, exciting because it'll give me something to focus my energy on after I'm done with swimming. Hilda became Iceland's most successful individual Olympian for 12 years when finishing sixth in Rio. Should that be the final Olympics in the career of Hilda Luthersdottir, her achievements in the pool will live long in the memory of the Icelandic people.